Big box retailers are beginning to buckle under the pressure of what you, the consumer, needs. Brick and mortar stores are dwindling, and the Bay Area is seeing some major changes already this year. Good morning, Tampa Bay anchor James Tully looks into what will fill the void. Yes, but those kids have grown up and grown out of the model that made Toys R Us so successful. A lot of the big box stores that used to be anchor stores at malls are bailing. For why that is, USF professor David Ortnow asks his students what they want in today's retail environment. And they like to go to places, and they use this term, where they perceive it being cool as the experience. If it's not cool, they get bored quickly and they move on. Convenience and technology are also big drivers, which explains the boom in online shopping. But what about Winn-Dixie? The grocery chain is closing its doors at all but one location in Tampa. One of the problems that a company like Winn-Dixie has, their leases are very expensive and their costs are high and they're not generating enough revenue to cover their costs. Signs like this are becoming an unsettling trend in the Bay Area. So what comes in to fill the void? And a better question, will it provide the same job opportunities? The old types of sales associates within a, a brick and mortar sort of retailer is maybe going by the wayside. And what will fill the space these brick and mortars leave behind? It's a complicated answer. The areas could be broken down for several smaller retailers. Target is opening smaller stores this year. Or retail giants like Amazon could buy those spaces. But it's adapt or die in the retail world. And sadly, not everyone is going to change for the better. Costs keep going up and they're not doing a good job in finding new revenue streams. Reporting in Tampa, James Tully, ABC Action News.